players, they say, play great in big games. This is a big game, and Mark Hendrickson, I'm sure, will step up. Yeah, he's had a fabulous season, and Washington State really relies upon him. 6'9", plays inside. He's got to bang the boards because Washington State plays small with three guards. Sometimes gets a little bit fatigued towards the end of some real challenging games. He's got to be there at the end. Texas Tech averaging in excess of 89 points a game. Washington State averaging exactly the same here in Pullman. Right now, let's go to Chris Fowler. Thanks, Barry. Barry Tompkins with Paul Sutherland back at Friel Court here in Pullman, just about set to go. Let's take a look at the lineups brought to you by Wolverine. Lance Hughes is the man that Washington State feels they have to stop. Sasser and Davis may get theirs, stop Hughes. That's the game plan. Ike Fontaine, one of the big scorers for Washington State. He's got a lot of help from his friends, though. Two well-balanced teams, both of whom shoot the ball very well. As a matter of fact, nobody shoots it any better than Washington State. And for Dickey, I had a quick look at him, just done a great job here at Texas Tech. Ellison sticks it. Ellison was the man that really put Washington State into this tournament. Once again, Sasser beat everybody down. Had the easy turnaround, but missed it. Ellison was eight for eight from three-point range against California in a game that Washington State needed to win to be invited to postseason play. Antrim will go to the free throw line for two. And to continue on, Dominic Ellison had three points in the first half. Maybe a moment ago, Ellison, 13 of his last 16, not all in the California game. To the basket, Ellison again. Or Fontaine, I beg your pardon. Set play, backdoor cut, and Isaac Fontaine at 6-4. Too quick sometimes for wing players. It's Fontaine right by everybody. Davis can't guard date over Texas Tech early. Washington State taking too many early shots, got into a little half-court set, and it paid off. Isaac Fontaine on the nice backdoor cut. Mark Davis having trouble guarding him out on the wing, beating him on this back door. Also a hard drive to the basket. Isaac Fontaine had a tremendous sophomore season for Washington State, averaging almost 18 points a game. Clearly touched by Washington State. Boy, they do get out and run. No question. Oh, with a finish. big time finish. Great finish by Darvin Pan. Carlos Daniel just didn't realize the ball was coming, and here come the Red Raiders again. Ham to the basket. He's got a foul. I don't think they'll give him the basket because I think you can trap it against the glass. Well, they do give him the basket, thus making a liar out of me. Kevin Eastman does not agree. Take another look. Darvin Ham. Whoa, for Thanksgiving or Christmas, however you like it. Great play. And then Darvin Ham again. We didn't expect this sort of aggression offensively up off the board. Now, in college basketball, the ball has got a quick first step, but if you don't respect his outside shot, he will hit the three on you repeatedly. This is Griffin, a freshman for Washington State, the ball game, number 13. We're clear out here for Ellison. No basket. Good at getting into the paint, creating real problems for the defense. They get a lot of cheap baskets off inbounds passes like that, but this time, no such animal. Front Mark Hedrickson down below. There's the double team. No problem. Nice. Not that unattractive, and the results were absolutely picturesque. Hendrickson, he can shoot that. Yes, he can. Remember the way he started the Arizona game. You know, he, he has so much responsibility down along the baseline, again, because Washington State likes to play small on the perimeter that he doesn't get to show his stroke all that often, but he can shoot the ball extremely well from the outside. Coy Smith now in the ball game at the off-guard position. He can also move over to the point. Davis. And Allison to the rebound. Hendrickson again on the move. That's a big time play. It's one thing to spot up and measure it when you're six nine, but that was a catch and shoot off the fast break. Boy Smith for three and a good look. Missed it to the right. Hendrickson the rebound. Allison the penetration and a kick out. Hendrickson for three. Great possession 
by the Cougars. And a timeout, 12.03, remaining first half, seven point lead Cougs. Washington State taking a seven point lead after an 8-0 run. Dominic Ellison, point guard for Washington State, kicks it to 6-9, Mark Hendrickson. Now the key is his feet, squares his body, gets on balance, straight up, measures it, and drills it. A couple of three-point shots and then getting out on the break on the wing. Eight-nothing run all by Mark Hendrickson and 10 overall. And merely perfect from the field. Uh, we've seen him do that before. Well, he is shooting 63% on the season. And as you have seen, not all of them are layups. Now we've talked about Mark Hendrickson. He's a left-handed pitcher in baseball and a good one. He's been drafted three times, twice by Atlanta, once by San Diego. Ellison for the baseline. Tough shot. Mark Hendrickson had kept him completely out of the play. Got lost. Yeah. <laughs> high to low to high for three, and it's Antrim. And if I've got this right, Barry, you were right on the money. Washington State has now hit nine of its last ten shots. <laughs> Smith knocked away from behind. Sasser, another tough shot, almost got the roll. Hendrick the rebound. Should be, yes it is. So a little bit of a sluggish start. Both teams shooting the ball extremely well. Antrim for three. I'm gonna put one on of my own. And I don't think he's seen bad defense. He has just driven hard to the basket, that time spotted up, tripped it back off his defender a little bit, and drained a tough shot. Fontaine with a basket. Thank you, Chris. Well, there's the hot seat, and there's the hot tub seat, which we have up here in Pullman, Washington. Only sell a couple of tickets a night to this one, and the rubber duck comes with it. What a deal. A comfortable place to watch a game, but if you're playing down on the low block, not very comfortable. David Vick going up against uh, Jason Sasser. Sasser working hard on the outside. Everybody said that he was a uh, blue-collar kind of guy, and he has certainly shown that, posting up and taking the damage and punishment that goes with it. Beyond the arc, five of six for Washington State, 21 of their 33 points from the perimeter. And the Cougs on fire, Paul. 13 of their last 50, 16 field goals and on the break again. But if you're Texas Tech, you go, wait a minute. Nobody shot like this against us all year long, and we're only down by eight. They should feel pretty good, actually. Absolutely. They are not playing badly at all. And the defense has not been all that porous, better since they've gone to some matchup zone now back in the man-to-man. -man. Washington State just is not missing a shot. Truck dive to the basket. Nine seconds now, eight on the shot clock. Everybody flattens on the baseline. It's just one-on-one -on -one for Fontaine. And he sticks it. But you're just not going to keep a player like Hughes quiet for long. Fontaine and Davis got him on the arm. And that may be three shots. I don't know. Is that a two-point shot? No, I think he was inside shot? the arc. Two is right. That continues to be a tough matchup. Isaac Fontaine has scored against virtually everybody throughout the Pac-10 season and before. This continues to be a very tough matchup one-on-one. -on -one. Mark Davis, not quite quick enough. Substantially bigger, but Isaac Fontaine is strong, good with either hand, get to the basket. Will stop up off the dribble, as we've already, as we've already seen a couple of times. Good free throw shooting team, except when they really needed it in that game that you might remember here. James Dickey. and hasn't had too many touches lately. Fontaine steps up, sticks a three. No matter what well, we talked about, what Washington State is shooting for the season, number one in the country and a little bit better tonight. <laughs> 71%. At one point, Mark Hendrickson scored eight points in about 45 seconds, back-to-back -back threes, and then a deuce out on the break. 
Texas Tech, not so bad either at 58%. Cougs have made 15 of their last 18. That'll, that'll get you to 71% in a hurry. And as we were talking in the break, those have not been easy shots. Ellison, made it 16 of 19. That one. Hendrickson down low, turn around. 17 to 20. Mike Fontaine got the roll. And Texas Tech stays in straight man-to-man. -man. And got to be very concerned about Washington State's ability to get penetration off the dribble. There it is. Corcoran hammer. Seven-point game. Cougars will play for the last shot. Texas Tech has done a terrific job to stay this close. Flattening down in the baseline. Fontaine missed everything. The follow almost went. That was a prayer that almost got there. Darvin Ham length to the court. First half comes to an end. A little bit sloppy at the beginning, a little bit sloppy at the end, but in the middle, some of the best shooting, most effective shooting that you're going to find. We're on fire here. Let's go to Chris Fowler. Yeah, Barry, those guys are going to need the hot tub there at halftime. Rest those legs.